Good evening, everybody. I hope everybody had a great weekend. It is Sunday night, and we're getting ready for the market. And I'm telling you, this bad boy is going to get rocking. So let's get right into it, see what's going to be popping tomorrow, what's going to be setting up this week, and let's just dive right into it. All information presented here is for educational and informational purposes only. It is not intended as financial advice, so always do your due diligence. How is everybody tonight? Let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to jump right into one that somebody asked me to look at before I forget, and that's MWG, Multiway Holdings, and it was down quite a bit on Friday. That's why I wanted to take a look at it as well, because it is way down. It had run up on Thursday, came way down on Friday. It's at 41 and a half cents. It was at 62 cents. It opened at 58 and it did come down to 42. Like I said, 41 and a half. It closed around 43 and uh, coming straight back down. But I'll tell you what, this bad boy is setting back up. And uh, let me just look at it. MWG. And just get a better look because it's just coming down on that uh, MACD. Like I said, it ran up nice, coming down real nice. And it's hard to tell on a Sunday night. Sometimes it is. The hard, it's hard to tell exactly what they're going to do. But we want to just know where they're at and what could possibly happen. So let's just go through it. Um, I was trying to bring it up on mine. And for some reason, Trend Spider isn't working. It just was. But we'll get back to that one but yeah i'll just look at this bad boy in the morning real quick and check out what it wants to do it's right by it's a uh, resistance right or support line right there it came through the resistance right around the 40 cent area and it's at the 40 like i said 41 and a half in the after hours and uh could very well just bounce right back up so keep your eye on it in the morning mwg but i will look at it and see what it wants to do and like i said ran up thursday pull back hard friday so we'll see if it wants to bounce off that so let's look at vcig and see what's going on here and let me just x out of the uh, trend spider and hop back in it and maybe that'll make it work real quick here we go let me just launch that bad boy there we go vcig now that was down like a half a percent not much and a little more in the after hours but like I said the other day, you want to talk about one in a good, good spot. This one looks great. I mean, just a little flat there on Friday. But, I mean, it can't really get any nicer than that. I can't, I, I mean, doesn't look like it can get any nicer than that, to be honest with you. It ran up Thursday, just a perfect spot on uh, hit that 16 and then Friday hit the 18 cent area. And yeah, it's a little bit of a reddish candle there, but it's that 20s curling under it could just be flat, could pull back a hair and then take off. But it looks like it wants to go to me, VCIG. I like it right there and uh, just kind of steady going up and looking good and getting right in the right spot there. So I can't say that I don't like it. And that's VCIG. And that's one we've been looking at. Here we go. There's our trend spider. But yeah. It definitely doesn't look bad to me and uh, can easily run to that 22 cent area with no problem and got up to 19 cents on Friday. So VCIG looking good. Um, let's look at MAXN, another one we've been taking a look at there for a while. Nine cents. This is a, let's see if it wants to uh, roll off here. Um, another one just getting ready um jumped right up in the right spot I remember it jumped up thursday and then right in the right spot on friday closed at the right spot so i would be expecting this one to try to get running this week as well and that's maxn stx confidential i know you're all about that one and uh, a few other people like it and it was it was real nice down here when it was in the uh sevens and um Right now, we're looking at it right around nine cents and trying to, it's right in the right spot. So I would imagine this one wants to try to get moving again this week. And it should be a decent week for everything. I don't see why it would not be, especially these guys. And uh, if the big caps want to just pull back a hair. Um, and again, they're not really pulling back. They're just making more room on the uh, chart so that they can run more. And if that's the case, these ones will pop off and run. That's how it will work. And, uh, yeah, MAXN just looking really good on all three charts right there. So keep your eye on it. EJH, let's see. I think it was going to reverse split. It just did reverse split the other day on the 24th. So let's see what it wants to do finally. Let's see. Um, trying to get there in the right spot i think it was at that bottom 
right before it reverse split it ran up on the reverse split right there and then just kind of came back down but i think this one's going to try to get rolling again never really ran up a whole lot there um and and wasn't a very good spot and it looks like it's like almost ready to get moving i'm just going to confirm it with the other ones and uh i could see this one getting out of that basement or at least curling up and hitting that basement floor while it comes up right there and uh because it has plenty of room to run so i don't see why it wouldn't but uh of course it did split the other day ran up a little bit i'll look at this one in the morning as well and it's just flat right there in the basement right below the line so all it needs is a little more of a kick up and it'll get going and then it just gets right back up on that 20 and it's fighting to stay up there it's just below it but it was fighting to stay up there and uh it'll be looking really good right there so i could see that one trying to move wto let's see this one was uh crawled through kind of just pulling back there let's see yeah i think this one's gonna have to just go flat as it's uh all the way through the macd right now and uh have to get set up some more so we may have to just take a look at that one in a little bit that's a wto and it did run up there on this when it was curling up and on the uh, macd again the day before they get there that's when they run and then they consistently pull back so wto is doing exactly that holo that was at 28 cents on friday trying to run up and uh just just another one getting in the right spot right there now let me take a look at this because it does look pretty nice. I'll look at it when it happened in the after hours. But yeah, in a in the right spot right there for Holo, H-O-L-O. -O. And let's see. Just a little tiny bit of pullback. Nothing really crazy. And uh, yeah, I could see Holo getting moving. And uh, it, it could definitely get cruising back up to the 50, which is 36 cents. And um, it's steadily trying to get moving again. And um, so, yeah, remember, this one was uh, way up there at uh, what we we saw it back at 80 cents. We uh, knew it was coming down to, but they were saying at a dollar 20, it was going to two dollars. And we're in the, we're still in the 20 cent range here. So I think it might get back into the 30s here and uh, then we'll we'll reevaluate it. But I do, I do think it's going to move more this week. And that is Holo, H-O-L-O, -O, S-M-S-I. This one's been a good one lately, and uh, like I was saying the other day, it was going to run up higher than its high, which was $1.48 the other day, and it, it looks like it wants to, guys. So I would keep an eye on that SMSI, and I said that on, what, Thursday night show, and it went up $0.09. Cents. It went up even higher. It went to $1.13. It opened at 97 It's low as 93 on Friday, and uh and SMSI, I think, is getting back up over a dollar forty. It's fifty is right at one nineteen. And like I said, it got up to one thirteen. It's looking solid and it wants to run. And that's that Smith Micro software. And we were on that way early. So SMSI looking decent again. Let's see A U U D and see. It was trying to set up. It was pulling back right there. And I think this one's going to have to pull back a little bit, too. I know I said that the other day. I just wanted to see if it was exactly pulling back like we thought. And it is. So we'll take an eye, a look at that one in a little bit and see what AUUD is going to be doing soon. But we're not going to worry about it at the moment because we're going to just start catching all the ones that are exactly popping. I was uh, scanning some things, going through some lists this uh, this weekend and trying to uh, make it better and I also have, I'm going to have a little more time, I think, so it'll be nice too. So I'll be able to uh, definitely uh, get some more things done. So here we go. ATHA, let's look at that. Uh, that is up two cents and it was looking pretty good the other day. I must say, even though the 20 is coming down on it and there's nothing underneath and it crossed over, um, it still looks pretty good. We'll reevaluate it tomorrow because you know how these ones go. Once they cross over, they still look pretty good. And then they start hitting fake walls. But I'll tell you what, ATHA just looked pretty nice. And I, again, another one I looked at the other day and uh, I noticed I was like, hmm, it does still look good. It had under a half a million in volume, but we'll just take a quick peek at it and see. 
And if it doesn't look real good, we'll just kind of move on for that. Move on from that bad boy. Um, H R Y U. Let's see that. Because I know it was looking good the other day. It looked great on Thursday, Friday. Just a little bit of pullback right there, and. Uh, Let's just see. I think it's just going to kind of it was just pulling back just to bounce off some more. And uh, it does look really good. H.R.Y.U. And I know we were looking at this before it started to pop up there and have been looking at it. So another one it looks really good. H.R.Y.U. I'd keep my eye on that one in the morning as well, because that's looking solid right there. And let's look at N.D.R.A. That one was up a percent, and this one was starting to get in the right area. And again, it's just the, the 20 is a little up there. It's at that 25 cents. I remember we were talking about it, and they've been gapping up that four cents. It's not like it's a dollar up. So uh, keep an eye on this. It's starting to look good, and um, and it's just getting down there in the right area. It's trying to, like I said, it's not very far off. It's been in the basement for a little while, and I know we've been covering it. So I'll be watching it. I have a feeling it's going to try to get set up this week, NDRA, and then it's at uh, right under 21 cents right there. So I'm going to keep an eye on that one as well, and I think that might be trying to set up. Um, let's see. We have a couple other ones right here. I'll look. Uh, MMV, let's take a look at that real fast. Let's see what that's doing real quick. MMV, Moldy Metaverse Holdings. Um. That's a China company. That's up a penny. Remember I said that China, the China stocks were going to start heating up there. I said it a few, like two weeks ago, and then I don't know what happened, but something went well, and they're starting to heat up. And I know Laptop Travel sent over a nice list of them we'll go through. So we'll take a look. Here's another one, MMV. And, I mean, it's looking really healthy right there. So I would keep an eye on that bad boy, MMV. Looking healthy. It sure is. Holy cow. Um, I'm writing that one down. You might want to take a look at MMV. What about that KRK? What is that? KRKR. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm looking at it right. KRKR 36 KR Holdings, huh? Let's see what they're up to. That's another China company, and that one's moving up pretty nice. And it's about to crawl through, it's about to hit the MACD. See, this one hit the 50. We'll look at this one in the morning. Um, just to make sure it keeps that momentum. It's right between the 20 and the 50. It should, but uh, it you know how they like to bounce off that MACD and come down a little bit. So let me see what it did in the after hours. KR, KR real quick. Yeah, it's just hitting that line. It's hitting it pretty good. So uh, I'll look at that in the morning because I like that setup. And let's look at ZKE, ZKIN. Holy cow. And that's a China company. I know that one uh, is up two cents on Friday, up another two in the after hours. And this one's setting up super bullish. And this one's also just trying to get through the line. Let's see if it did. Um, Z-K-I-N. It is just about to hit that line pretty hard. And another one, it could just pull back and then set up a hair more. So, uh, and it, um, and like I said, it could just, yeah, could pull back, hit that line, pull back, set up and uh, really pop off in about a few days, maybe at the end of the week, early next week. So I'll look at that one as well. And let's look at CEAD real quick. CEAD, CEA Industries up eight cents on Friday. Looking pretty sweet there. Crawling up nice every which way right there. Let me see. C-E-A-D. And looks pretty solid to me. It looks like it wants to continue its way up to me. Um, yeah, it's going to, it's going to, uh, obviously be based on the market conditions tomorrow, but I don't see anything wrong with it. If it did even pull back a little bit, it wouldn't even be bad for it. It would still probably move. So, uh, CEAD is another one. Looks real good there. Peninsula Life. And uh, boom, let's uh, 
You are welcome. Eric, uh, you got about VCIG Insight, no problem. Like I said, it looks really good. I know that. And uh, I just look at the charts and tell you what they look like. And like I explained, Sunday nights, you know, we're just getting the setups from Friday and a weekend happens. Nothing crazy went on. Our crypto stayed up, so that was a good sign. And everything seems to be pretty uh, solid. I don't see anything that crazy. And uh, so, yeah, we'll go through some other things and see how everything looks, obviously. But they it doesn't look like it was anything bad. So I, I would assume that VCIG is going to continue its way up tomorrow or this week anyway. So let's take a look at Buru, B-U-R-U. And let's see what Nubaru wants to do, because that one I know is setting up in the right spot right there. And again, that one was like uh, the 20 was only six cents off and it was right there. So tell me, keep your eye on that one because it could gap up right there easily and uh, really get moving. So oh, what am I typing in? I'm going to spell Nubaru instead of putting uh, Buru. There you go. B-U-R-U. -U. There we go. Holy um, yeah, it's just, it looks good there at that 50 cents could easily get back up to that 66. And that is where, uh, yeah, you got a little resistance, uh, at that 66 area, but again, our 20 is coming down. It's at that 56 cent, um, spot. So I don't see anything wrong with it and it should try to get to that spot this week. So keep your eye on BURU. That's looking decent right there. And C-U-R-R, -R, we were looking at this last week. It had curled through. It was kind of just running flat. But another one where the 20 was just coming down, it's at 312. This thing's at 275. And all it'll take is a decent little curl up tomorrow. And this thing will jump up. So it's a shell company, and it's from Singapore. You know how them shell companies are. They're crazy, especially the overseas one. So uh, just keep an eye on it for sure, C-U-R-R. -R. And we've been looking at it for a few weeks. So, you know, we're always a few weeks early. And uh, that one's just getting into that spot right there. How about Peggy, the pineapple energy? Um, let's see what that's up to. That was up a percent, like almost a percent and a half. And then some more in the after hours, not a whole lot in the after hours. But it just uh, got into the exact right spot right there. I mean, perfect. The 20s coming down, but now it doesn't necessarily even need it because it's got that hard support that came down. It's at 13 cents, just under 14, and your 20s up at uh, 32 cents. You can watch this one to try to pop. I'm telling you, this is getting right there this week where Peggy, P-E-G-Y, wants to try to do something, and I don't see it... Uh, reverse splitting because it did back in june so i would pay attention to pegy miss peggy right there and let's see what syrs did because i know it was up a little bit it was at two dollars up four cents and uh this is the one i can tell you by looking at the chart without even knowing anything else just hand me the chart something's going on and this is the one where they had insider buying and uh something's going on like i keep telling you so i don't need to go over this one really but uh you should be keeping your eye on it for sure because it's already up and it's going to keep going i don't know what the hell they're up to but they're up to something and uh there you go that's s y r s ftft let's look at that one ftft um down a penny up a little in the after hours and let's just take a look um looking really good i remember looking at it last week that 20 and 50 are uh setting up the meet up it was just a little healthy pullback on friday and it actually ran up and i mean healthy pullback because it wasn't really a perfectly green candle but it looks really nice right there i would keep an eye on this one to continue its way up and even get bumping this week uh as that 20 and 50 meet up it just like i said was about to hit the top pull back perfectly it's been stair stepping up there and uh it could easily get into the top and try to run up there so um ftft looking decent rmcf is the chocolate company rocky mountain chocolate factory up a penny and uh i'd expect this to try to continue its way up it looks real solid and it's meeting up and trying to look really good right there so i would take a look at the rmcf as well and that is rocky mountain chocolate factory they look like they have a good chocolate going on right now because it looks real good uncy let's see it 
Let's see. It uh, it is coming back down, and I think it's gonna curl right off that MACD as it comes down and get cruising again. And it's gonna run up higher than its high the other day, which was fifty cents. It's at forty one. I'd keep an eye on this bad boy to get moving again. UNCY. Um, definitely look at it in the morning. Make sure it has that momentum that it wants to go up still. But uh, looks good to me right there. I can tell you that. At least the way it closed on Friday, it still looked good. So we can take a look at that one. It looks good. You are G that your energy was down two cents, down another one in the penny in the after hours. And just some pullback right there came back under the 50 and the 20. I meant to take a look at this one because it's still back over that MACD. I want to see what this one did in the after hours. I'm just getting a look. Um, coming back down could curl back up off of that but let's just see yeah it came down pretty hard that's what i wanted to see um but honestly it could bounce right back this is one i have to look at in the morning urg because it just has that look where it's hard to tell so i would look at that in the morning especially after the weekend and uh so i'll look at that mcrb um this was up eight cents and remember, we were looking at it, but it curled down. I don't know what's going on with this thing. It curled down. It's through the MACD going down. Somehow bounced up, and uh, I'm not exactly sure about this thing. I think it was going to uh, pull back some, to be honest with you, and it very well could tomorrow. I just want to see how it opens up, see how it's reacting here. So that's why I kept it on here, but I don't think it's that great of one, but we'll keep an eye and just see how it goes. And uh, that's MCRB, and that was more or less on here. Um, I was just kind of modern, so I'm just going to put a little question mark right there, and uh, I might even move that one off of here and just keep it on my other one. Uh, MLGO, that was down just a little bit and then up a little bit in the after hours. And this one, I'm telling you, this one's been trying to get, tried to get curling up the other day on that 25th and had that jo doji dragon something, something. I forget what the heck it is, whatever that candle. I'm telling you, I'd fail that test every time, but whatever that is, um, you could tell it wanted to hit that resistance and come back down. And now it's just pulling back a little bit. But I, I think it might try to reverse right there. So it's hitting that bottom. I think it might get some momentum again this week. Let's keep an eye on MLGO and see if it wants to uh, actually go again. So MLGO, we'll see if it wants to try to go. Um, and again, we'll be able to tell probably tomorrow, more or less, um, once it hits that bottom, what it's going to look like right there. A-I-L-E. Let's see it because it looked pretty good to me. And let's see what it's doing right there. Um, it's starting to try to move up. It ran up the other day on the 23rd. And let's just see what it's trying to do. It looks like it's about to hook up and go crazy. So I, oh, let me type it in right and I might uh, be able to get to it. I'll just remove that extra J, A-I-L-E. Yeah, a little, I mean, it hit that resistance at that 188, got through it the other day, but didn't look terrible, came back kind of nice, and uh, let me see, A-I-L-E, yeah, I, I think we're going to see it try to bounce back up this week, to be honest with you, and, and you could see it have a real nice bounce, just the way it looks, and that's what I was trying to look at um it does it has that look where it wants to just kind of cruise so aile i would keep an eye on this bad boy um anything going on uh, i don't see anything real crazy right there um they had a hindenburg thing going on too i just scrolled down to look at the news on the 26th it says i learning engines has not yet provided investors with information about special committee fact finding after hindenburg challenges Something, hold on. Challenges, transparency, and contends revenues and expenses are uh, largely fake, I guess. I have no idea, but uh, there you go. That Hindenburg, they're all over all kinds of stuff, huh? So uh, AILE, but like I said, it looks good to me right there. So we'll see how that one opens up tomorrow. And like I said, it has a hard-looking hook. Did pull back. Uh, it looks like it has a dip and rip situation at that 152 on Friday. So I, I want to look at that in the morning and see what it's going to do. AILE, let's see it. And uh, that could be a momentum play. If that thing gets hooked up and tries to move, it's going to cruise. So 
I would keep an eye on that. A-N-T-E, I remember this was looking good the other day. And Friday, it just like jumped up like crazy. It opened up at 30. It ran up to 40, but it just kind of like spiked up there real nice. So, uh, and especially for this thing, it just went sizzling. So if you caught that, uh, you had a nice hit because it came right back to uh, 28, 29. So yeah, it opened that 30, ran up to 40 and came back to 28. And remember I said ANTE was looking real good. And boom, there it went. So I'd have to look at that tomorrow after that kind of run and uh, see what it wants to do. But bam, we're right on the money with that one right there. Almost right to the days. AKTS, that one eight, up 8%. This one, again, looking real good. We talked about this the other day. And uh, I could see this one continuing its way up. It did run up to uh, a little over $0.09. Cents. It's back to like under 8 and a half, And um I could see this trying to run back up a little bit more. I'd probably have to look at it in the morning, just the look of it from here. But it definitely looks healthy. Even if it pulled back a little bit, it would probably still want to get moving, I would assume. That's what it looks like at the moment. CDT is that condo with pharmaceuticals down a little bit, like almost a little over 2.5%, and then up almost 2.5%. And this one had been in the basement forever, trying to get out. And I think this week's going to be its week, guys. Um. It was trying to get curling up, curling down, curling up, curling down. I mean, it's been all over the place. The 20 is uh, up at 13, like right at 13 cents now. And we're at 12 and a half, almost at that 13.1285 in the after hours. And, uh, and it was trying to get through it for all last week almost. And uh, maybe even the week before. And it just kept getting knocked down. I have a feeling just the way it's set up and it looks right here, CDT, um, could get moving for sure this week. Um, it, it it really looks like it could be its week because it's it should come down and meet it. And uh, it was being held down. Honestly, it should have got rolling on uh, September 20th right there, but it just couldn't keep itself up because it was a Friday. So... That's why sometimes you have to look at them because that Friday look right there, if that was on a Thursday and it had that next day open, it probably would have kept itself up and been a different chart. But uh, then it comes back down. So now we're looking at it on a Sunday night. It looks like it wants to bounce off that bottom and try to move. But again, going to have to look at it and see what it does. But keep an eye on CDT. Hasn't really run like it should have. I don't know if they're reverse splitting anywhere. I don't see anything. And I didn't see it do anything yet. So, uh, nah, they definitely ain't. It was like over a dollar in uh, July 1st. It was a dollar for and mad time before that. So it's only been down here really since uh, in since July when it get down uh do 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 right there june 28th was the last time it was in a dollar and then july 1st it was but it's low as 93 cents and then after that it comes down so yeah in july and then uh and now it looks like it wants to try to get move it again so cdt i'm saying keep an eye on it. it's been in the basement forever since that like july and uh and it, it looks like it wants to try to get moving finally. FAMI, F-A-M-I, up four cents. We talked about this last week. And this is another China stock. Remember, I said this one was going to get moving. And boom, this one started to move on Friday. Got up to It opened at 26. It got up to 30 and a half. Its low is like 24, almost a little under 25. And uh, it closed at 29 and a half. So that's where it's sitting right now. And it looks still good to get up to 50 is up to like 39 cents. So it looks like it's going to continue that momentum. But again, after a Friday look, and that's a China stock, so we have no idea. But it does look really good. And again, the China stocks are looking hot. I said they were heating up two weeks ago, remember? And uh, here they go. Maybe three weeks ago, I said they were going to start heating up. And uh, they are. So LGMK, let's take a look at that one. Um, in the right spot right there. I'm telling you, let's, this one should open up really nice tomorrow. I wouldn't see why it wouldn't want to. Um, besides the fact that it just has that red look, but it's sitting right there. I'm telling you, this has that look, and I went through enough of them that I uh, kind of 
I'm not saying that every it's definitely possible, uh, definitely going to happen, but it has that possibility where um, it's sitting in the right spot to try to bounce off. I'll tell you that. So we'll look at an LGMK, but guys in the morning, keep an eye on that on your web bull because that one could bounce right there. So um, where was it at? It was at it opened at 17 and a half. That was its high and it pulled back to about. 0.1682 it closed at 0 0.1690 and that's where it's at just under 17 cents but just sitting in a good spot right there that logic mark um there you go btct let's look at that that's a btc digital and i told you the other day i gave it to you and it ran up ran up on thursday to 220 on friday it's hot it opened at 182 and that was its high it's low is 163 and it's at 171 170 in the after hours but still looking good i think it was just a little bit of pullback stair stepping up and still looks healthy there btct so that's for those that got into that the other day g-o-s-s -S. oh this one looks really good i know you're looking at it and I think you might have a roll-off coming up and a really nice one, guys. Keep your eye on this. Gossamer, it's a biotech company. Um, they're just presenting some days. I don't know, but uh, G-O-S-S, I remember we looked at it. Somebody was asking about it, and uh, it is. It's looking, it looks good. I would expect it to roll off that MACD. It's setting up right there, and I would have to assume it's going to get moving, so... Keep your eye on this bad boy tomorrow as well, especially this week, because it looks good right there. And UPC, Universe Pharmaceuticals, that's down almost 3%. This is that one that was curling up really nice. And uh, we're just about there. Guys, keep an eye on this, because this could be that day out from uh, hitting the MACD tomorrow morning. So keep your eye on UPC, because this one could be right there. So let me just mark that one day out yeah it could be right there so upc i would watch that one see if that one wants to run aqb aqua bounty technologies that was up five cents we were looking at that the other day it was curling up looking good and nothing wrong with this one either it looks really healthy right there aqb i would expect that one to continue to move atxg let's see it um up two cents up another two and uh it did run up there it's over to 50 uh, i have to look at this one in the morning just the way it ran up let me see atxg let me see it looks pretty good right there let me see on mine atxg i mean it doesn't look terrible but i could see if i mean it kind of stair stepping down i have to look at this in the morning after the weekend so I, I would look at this one and just take a peek at it. ATXG, TNFA. I remember this one, TNFA. That is TNF Pharmaceuticals, down 14 cents. It ran up the other day. And let's see, it went up four cents in the after hours. Let me see, pulling back there. Hmm, trading between the 20 and 50 right there. TNFA, let me look at this puppy. Yeah, that's an interesting look. Another one, I might have to look at this one in the morning as well. Just uh, on, even on mine, it's got that pullback look, but it wants to go higher. Um, trading between there, I would think it wants to go up, is what. It, but I'm not positive. So I'd have to look at this one as well. I'll take a mark like that and look at that tomorrow just to get a better look. And after a Sunday, I'm not sure. So uh could go either way. And I just don't want to guess right there. So there you go with that one, TNFA. Let's look at ZEO real quick and see what that's up to. ZEO, that one's just coming down a little bit, huh? This is an interesting one. Let me see this. It's, it's, it's definitely a bearish one or bearish. Yeah, bearish, not yeah, not bullish. It's a bearish one. And uh, but it looks like it wants to try to roll off that MACD for maybe one little pop up. And it did run up the other day on the 19th and it got the four hours. We're sitting at 206 in the after hours. And uh you have to we have to see this in the morning too, because and the only reason why it looks solid to try to curl up, it's just a flat line there. 
and it is bearish uh, overall. So it could go either way, and it's not really crossing down on the MACD. It's just flat across the top of it. So uh, it, it could really go any which way right there. So that would have to be another one. I definitely have to look at that one. So I just was marking it. And I want to see what that one looks like right there, because that one looks interesting for sure. And let's see, is there an EJ? I know there's EJH, but I don't see that one. Maybe that's what it was supposed to be. I don't know. EJN, EJH, or EJUL are the only ones I see. And I know we did EJH. Um, so, yeah, we'll just come back to that or someone let me know. I'm not sure whose that one was. And then BEKE. -E. This could have been a uh, laptop travels because these are a bunch of the China ones. So I'm assuming it was EJH and and we had already done it. And I might have not even written the H down. So it might have been me. Um, B-E-K-E, -E, but I'm pretty sure it was probably that. Um, here we go. B-E-K-E, -E, up 31 cents. This one's at the top. I would have to be careful with this one. What is this? The K-E holdings. All right, this is just a real estate one, not an ETF. But uh, yeah, up 31 cents, ran up there um i'd be careful with this one so uh i would just say i'm not so sure but whr let's look at that one and that's only because that one just ran up b-e-k-e -E, so i'd have to look at it but uh whr is whirlpool here we go that's whirlpool and let's see what they're up to at 107 dollars and 66 cents it was up dollar eight and uh it's setting up to be quite bullish in like many ways there. I can't even, there it goes. All right. And then right there, right there, it's sitting on top of it. It made its old resistance and support at the moment. And, uh, uh, EJ just got delisted. Okay. So our, uh, there you go. Laptop travel. Appreciate that feedback real quick. Um, I, just assumed I wrote it wrong. So you could have just blamed it on me. I would have never even known. But appreciate that. EJ is now delisted. So they're not even on there. And, uh, but Whirlpool, WHR, they are on here. And um, it is sitting in a really good spot. It's just hard to tell if it wants to pull back a little bit tomorrow. But I would say overall, this thing wants to continue to run up there. What was it at before? It's been down pretty bad. So, uh, and it ran up to its high on the 18th to like 115. And it, it looks like it's trying to get running back up into that top area. I'd have to look at WHR in the morning as well. Whirlpool. Um, NUE. Let's see what that's up to. NUE. That is a steel company. New Core Corp. And uh, just kind of pulling back there it looks like it wants to set up really nice it just kind of was bouncing around a little bit for the last couple of days that's all um let me see yeah i mean it looks like it was just kind of making a base right there to be honest with you so uh this one looks really solid nue i'd keep an eye on this one um nue where'd it go there it is we can watch that one doesn't look bad at all stld that's steel dynamics up 74 cents. Another one, they're just running right up there, getting over top of the resistance and making them support lines, sitting on them, just sitting right there. And everything looks pretty solid. So I could see these guys popping up a little bit more, this STLD and and also that last one right there, uh, NUE. So yeah, I would, I would keep an eye, especially in the morning on them guys. They could be momentum plays. Because they're sitting right on them lines right there. So they could run up in the morning, come back down. You know how that works. But uh, you could definitely get something out of that. Uh, let's see. CSTM, uh, Costil Costilium, Costilium CE, I don't even know. Aluminum company in France. I'm thinking that's what it is. I wrote S uh, C T C S T, and then this one came up so i'm just gonna put an m and go with this one how's that it's an aluminum company and this one looks really good that's why i was like yeah this one looks great um this one looks like it's setting up really nice uh, aluminum must be doing pretty well we can look at some aluminum companies let me see what happens with aluminum oh yeah there's only five of them we can blast through that in three seconds here i'll pull up all the aluminum ones real quick that'll take us no time there we go you ready See how long it takes us to go through the whole entire aluminum sector. AA, it's a 
Alcoa Corp. I don't even know. It's a USA company, aluminum. Down, it's at thirty nine twenty seven. Down a penny, um, right at the top. Not something I would chase there, but it is setting up to be pretty bullish right there. I can see it pulling back and then running up a little bit. AA. So that's that one. CENX Century Aluminum. That's another USA company. Same kind of deal there. It's run up into the top. I can see it pulling back just a hair, but uh, setting up really good. Um, uh, I think a lot of times when these, I, I, yeah, these guys are setting up really nice. I wonder what that means. Um, aluminum. And then we just did the CSTM and I'm telling you that one looks really good right there. Um, that's from France. Uh, K L K A L U Kaiser aluminum. That's a USA company. And uh, that one's sitting in a really good spot. It's got it, it just went right over to 50. And uh, I don't know, it's just setting up to be pretty bullish right there. It looks pretty nice to me at the moment. So uh, there you go. It's um, K A L U looking decent right there. And then we have uh, NVL. I wonder if it says the chart not available. I've never seen that before. So let me look and see if I can get a chart. NVL. No, it's not. They must have like got like D list listed or something happening because nothing comes up. And this is a lithium one. NVLHF just came up out of nowhere. It's at seven cents. I don't even know where that came from. And that's a lithium one. Not even looking that great. So I guess that one disappeared. And that was uh, NVL. Yeah, NVL. Novelis Inc. I don't know. It was an aluminum company, but it ain't there. So, uh, And there's your aluminum ones that take about two minutes. And that's the whole sector for aluminum. But, uh, yeah, interesting. Um, I don't know what that even means, but it's interesting. I can tell you that. And there you go with them. Um, what's that? PLL Lithium? Yeah, that's. I just looked at that. Uh, well, we just looked at that one, but... I remember PLL Piedmont Lithium. Then we go. We went through the lithium ones before, and uh, that's the new gold right there. And uh, I, I remember we went through them, and they were really set up really nice. Them lithium bad boys. So uh, yeah, interesting right there. The aluminum ones have that look. I wonder what that's all about. I'll have to look into that and see what's going on. But we will not waste time right at the moment because we're going to continue to go and see what JD's up to. And I know this site um or the site this stock and it did it ran up quite a bit so i would definitely be careful with this it's way up there uh 39 dollars and almost 40 dollars um what was it's low well it opened at 39.51 but it's it was down in the 28th probably last week and uh way up there ran up pretty nice right there and another china company internet retail and uh that one ran up jd and baba is like their china amazon or whatever and i think i was saying this one was going to run before i'll have to go back because i'm pretty sure i posted on stock twits when it was down in the summertime and uh and it was in the 80s clearly and uh now it's at 107 nothing i would chase up there but definitely ran up baba and um so i would expect that one to try to pull back some what else is next there? Uh, CCTG. Let's see. CCS Technology Internationals. That's a Hong Kong company. Dollar seventy up a penny. Let's see. That's in an interesting spot right there. It was coming down hard on that MACD. Let me take a look at it. CCTG because this one could uh, bounce. I mean, this one's interesting right there. Um, the way it's set up, it's uh, definitely an interesting look. I want to see that in the morning. CCTG, I just want to look at it. Um, I'll tell you what it's doing. The 20 and 50 are meeting, curling up, but then the MACD is coming down hard on the uh, coming down hard on the line, and the RSI is just flat. So a bunch of interesting looks right there. All like craziness happening, but uh. What I see it happening is rolling off that MACD and popping is what I see. I'm not promising you anything on it, but that's just what I see it happening. So, uh, um, yeah, so we'll look at it because I'm interested, obviously, to see how it plays out. But we'll keep an eye on CCTG and see if that's the way it rock and rolls. And let's look at CVS. I'm 
That is good old CVS, and it popped up. It was way set up. Why weren't we watching CVS? It was looking good right there. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and yes, and then Friday, it popped up. It's probably going to get up into that top and run. I'd be careful of it over a weekend after it popped up like that. If anything, guys, look at CVS in the morning. It's at 61.38. Came down 13 cents in the hour, after hours of 61.25. But I'll tell you what. It looks like it still has momentum. It could run up some more and get into that top on the uh in the pre market for you. So keep an eye on CVS early. You might get a little uh, run up on that. C U R V is Torrid Holdings. That's up nine cents. Whoa, this one we want to look at for sure. Holy cow! Um, just setting up really nice. That MACD is about to hit it, too. I wonder if that was its pop-up and if it's going to bounce off and come up and set up more. I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, it has a lot. 50 coming through right there. That's a weird look, too. Um, 20's coming down. We're at, what, $5 and that. We're at 4 with this. Interesting. Definitely looking at curve. It is curving. Uh, it's doing all kinds of curvature right there, curve. So hold on. I want to see it on mine. C-U-R-V. This one's a good one. Um, Yeah, I think it gets through right there. I think you have a runner right here tomorrow. So take a look at curve. I think it's curving through is what it looks like to me. C-U-R-V um, just looks good right there. I was just looking to see if anything crazy was happening, but... uh. It was an insider sale. Oh, that was on the 14th. Someone sold a bunch of them on the 14th. What day was that? That is uh, September 13th. So that was how to, well, that was just news. So that was happened on a Saturday, obviously, because the 13th must have been a Friday. So the 16th was a Monday. And then it's run up, and now it's going to cross. Through. I think this bad boy is running. So CURV, I'd keep an eye on that one. SLE, let's look at Super League Enterprises. Um, It was up a little bit. It's at 64 and a half cents. And another one, oh, this one looks good. This one wants to try to run as well. I'd definitely be keeping an eye on this one too. <clears throat> uh, SLE. That one looks nice as it's trying to curl up. And again, it's right there. So you could, it did run up on Thursday to 83 cents. It's sitting at 64 and a half, but it looks like it wants to try to run. It looks like what Wednesday, Tuesday was it's low at 50 cents. So keep an eye on that SLE. That one could definitely run in the morning. Uh, Looks really nice right there, honestly. And it's right, I mean, like I said, it's probably that day there um right by the uh macd and it's sitting flat at the bottom i mean anything could hit that and make it pop up right there so yeah i'd be watching that nkgn let's see what that wants to do nkgen biotech um almost trying to get out of the basement right there i have a feeling this one is trying to curl up another one we can look look at it for like that quick little pop-up if it tries to curl up it's a day out as well but I don't think this one's going to even curl through, to be honest. I think it'll stay in the basement a little bit, NKGN. So uh, we'll take a look. I want to see what it looked like in the after hours, NKGN. Yeah, just take a look at it tomorrow. Like I said, it's like a day out, and then I have a feeling we'll see it. If it runs up, you'll see it pulling back. But catch that little popper on. If it's moving, you know it's going to be running up. Um, SDOT, that's S dot. Um, we looked at this SATIC group before. It's up two cents. I don't remember what price we were looking at it at, but uh, I knew it ran up and then it was pulling back. But this one's setting up to be pretty bullish as well. Um, it's at that 43 cent area and uh, looks like it just got over to 50 in the after hours. And um, yeah, it's looking pretty solid right there to set up. So SDOT. Looking pretty good. You can keep your eye on that. Even if it pulls back, that one's setting up to look nice right there. WDC. Let's look at it. WDC. Let's see. Western Digital Corp. Here we go. Whoa, this one just like ran up Thursday, Friday. I don't know. This one's got a little bit of a funky look. I mean, 
I got to look at this thing. WDC, huh? This one's got a weird look on it. For some reason, just has a weird thing going on. As soon as I look at it, something's odd. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to try to look at it and tell you guys. Coming down, I mean, it looks like it wants to come down, but at the same time, it looks like it wants to trick you. I don't know what it is right there. Let's look at this. Western Digital Corp. Um, just an oddball one. Hold on, let's see, because I just scrolled down to see if they had it. And it says September 28th, which today is the 29th, right? Yeah. Uh, so that was yesterday. Is Jim Cramer right to warn against Western Digital Corp? How great is that? Uh, let's definitely take a look at this because I'm telling you, there's something up with it. Not exactly sure. And you know, Cramer, he's wacky. So, uh, I, I'm not so sure. Like I said, it does have a weird look. He could be on to something, but I, I'm not exactly sure. If I look at it in the morning, we'll be able to tell probably. So let's look at it because now we have to, obviously. Let me mark that bad boy up and take a look at that one, WDC, because we got to see what Kramer thinks right there and if he's going to be right. BE, Bloom Energy, up 29 cents. Oh, this one's looking good, though. Yeah, I like Bloom Energy much better. Take an eye, take a look at BE Bloom Energy. That's looking good. Yeah, take a look at that one. I like that. BE looking nice right there. LTRX. Um I remember we were looking at this before it ran up and then it now it curled through and now it's going to come back up and potentially really run up there uh you could actually, I mean, it's about to hit the MACD, but it looks pretty good with momentum right there. And uh, I think a couple of you guys like this one, right? LTRX. And yeah, it's got that nasty curl up look and it's setting up nice. We'll have to look at that one in the morning as well. And I th I'm positive a couple of you like LTRX, but it is looking good right there. So we'll keep an eye on it. Uh I'm pretty sure I did CDT because I talked about it for a few minutes, so we don't got to do that one again. GFAI, that's Guard Force AI Company, and uh, that one's looking solid right there to run up, huh? That one wants to get back up into the 150 area. It's at 126, and GFAI is this? Hold on, I have to just look at something. This wasn't the company that did the five-hour things, was it? No, I don't think so. No, I was just confusing them with whoever that was. I forget what company that was. But this one's looking really good right there. Um, GFAI, I would take a look at this guy. It looks really nice. Definitely running up. Uh, looked really good the other day. Um, Thursday, Friday, even Wednesday. Spiked up there pretty nice on Tuesday. But, yeah, it looks actually pretty nice right there. So, I'll have to take a look at it. It looks like it should keep the momentum. And again, it's a Sunday night, so it depends on the market conditions. But that one looks really nice. ABVE, um, I know we've been looking at it. And I'm telling you, that I know we were talking about it too the other, uh, on here on Twitter as well, um, a few of us. And I'm telling you, that chart can almost not get more set up any better. It's just curling up, looking good. The year 20 is coming right down for it. It's at 63 cents. It's at 59. And we know that they can bounce up real easy. GHSI, thank you, Laptop Travel. That was the one I was thinking about. Not GFAI. GHSI did the uh, five-hour dividend. Thank you. I was definitely confusing them, too. Um, ABV Edo is looking real good right now. So it could be its week right here. It's coming down. I know we've said it a few times, and it's trying to set up. But keeps trying to pop out of the basement, and now the 20 is finally coming down for it. So now we know, and there it is. So ABVE looking much better now. ACRV. ACRV. Um, here, let's look at that bad boy, ACRV. Well, let me just see. Oh, here you go, ABVE. Laptop Travel just posted the uh, the uh, chart for that one, so I just um, reposted it. But, yeah, it's right there. It's looking real good. ACRV, let's look at that one down 10 cents the other day, huh? 
But uh, it is setting up bullish. Not yet, though. I mean, I think this one has a little bit of time to set up. But this one will be like almost a week or two away, it looks like. So hold on. There we go. Let me just mark that one ACRV because it's going to be pretty decent right there. ALBT. I'm sneaking one in there for RD real quick. ALBT. Let's look at the Avalon Globo Care because I know uh, RD likes it and it is setting up. Like I said, it's just taking its time. It's about to hit the line right there, RD. And that look right there, honestly, could just bounce back a little bit and stay right on that 20 cent area and really not pull back a whole lot your uh your 20s right there at your 25 cent area uh it really honestly depends on your market conditions tomorrow so um if it opens up real green and these things want to get curl want to curl up this could easily curl through and let me look albt see what it did in the after hours nope it's just about to hit that line i had to give us that really hard look didn't it so uh and like i said it's in the spot where a lot of them hit it and pull back a little bit now it could just pull back and then rip right through again we see that hard bounce up so uh that hard real real hard curl up but uh albt let's remind me rd in the morning and i'll take a peek at it and we'll just take a look see if it's getting through there what kind of momentum it has and then we'll know what it wants to do for this week and probably going forward right there so because if it don't get through tomorrow, it's just going to pull back a hair, um, set up, and then crush through the next time. So we'll just know for that, ALBT. So there you go, RD. FRGT, let's look at that. FRGT. Great technologies, down 10 cents, down 2 in the after hours. It recently split the other day huh, on the 25th, and then it ran up. And it looks like, hmm interesting is what it looks like i'll say that I'll say it at least i think it pulls back a little bit is what it looks like to me frgt let's see let me look at it on mine see what happened in the after hours on this puppy yeah i mean that's a tough look right there huh i almost feel like it's gonna pull back a hair i can't guarantee that with frgt that's another one I'd have to look at in the morning, get a better look on a Monday as it sets up. Because again, it, it, at the moment, I'll tell you, it looks like it wants to pull back a little bit. So uh, I'll look at it. I'm marking it now and I'll take a peek, but it does look like it wants to pull back. We'll see if it tries to change. FFIE, that one is at, uh, it split not long ago, popped up and been running back down ever since. And uh, let's see what it wants to do. It ran up Thursday, pulled back more Friday, trying to bounce back off of there. 20's coming down at 383, so it's still like a dollar up right there. And uh, let's see, FFIE. FFIE, let's see. Um, I think it has to pull back. Looks like definitely gives me mixed signals on mine. Pull back on that one. I mean, the majority is telling me it wants to pull back. So I'd have to look at that too, but it looks like it wants to pull back. So I'm going to mark that as well to see if we're right. FFIE. And uh, we'll look. How about DUO? I mean, that one only ran like over 300%. I definitely wouldn't be touching it now. But uh, then we not like in two weeks ago, it was in 38 cent area and it ran way up there. And uh, like I said, over 300 percent. And uh, I hope people smashed it out of the park. That was a China real estate one DUO, but not something you want to be playing games with right now. That's for sure. A E I. Let's see what that's up to. Our A E I. That's a real estate company in the U.S. And it bounced up really nice, huh? That one could keep momentum, too. Another one to take a look at um, in the morning, see if it'll keep that momentum to just keep running up. What it have? Only half a million in volume. See, a lot of these on a Sunday morning, though, 
um like this one potentially can't won't, won't be moving at all maybe not even moving at 7 a.m when i look at it because i go through them and i even look at finviz my chart and sometimes they're not even they don't even have the date for today on my chart which is pretty accurate and up to date and uh that means that they're just not trading anything yet and they're just waiting so we do see that look on monday morning so again look at it if it's moving you know where it's going it's a momentum play if it's not doing anything clearly you'd have to wait until like almost 9 15 9 30 to see what it's going to do at that point so we'll take a look at them I'll be scanning the market in the morning anyway. You know that it's 7 a.m. for pre-market. But let's look at Wint Wintry and see what that one's doing because I know it was curling through and it did curl through and it's touching that bottom. Another interesting one is a 20s coming down. Still a little ways off, like 80 cents off of there. But uh, does it have potential? We have to see if this one wants to get in the basement tomorrow. Let's see. Wint, let me look. Nah, I don't think it does, be honest. I don't think Wint does. Let's see. I mean, it, it was crossed through. It's pulling back. Nothing that crazy right there. I think you get a bounce off the bottom tomorrow with Wint. Um, a very good possibility. It could just have a little tiny bounce off of there so it keeps it out of the basement. And I'm not saying it's going to go nuts, but it could bounce off of there. And your 20 is up at 334. You're sitting at 257. It went up two cents in the after hour. So I could see a bounce right there on WINT in the, uh, on that win. Um, let's see. AEMD. Let's look at that one. AEMD. That was up three cents. Oh, this one's looking real good. I remember we were looking at this last week. It was on, I think, a laptop travel list. I forget whose list it was on, be honest with you. Um, but uh, I just remember us looking at it and it was looking good and it still should continue its momentum. It's it's looking good in like every aspect. AEMD. So looking good right there. And again, only 632,000 in volume, but looks solid. AUMN, um, this is Golden Minerals. And this one we were looking at, and this jumped up over 40 cents the other day on Friday, up to 43 cents. It opened at 28. It's low as 27. And it came back down to like 26, under 26 in the after hour. So another one we were looking at. And it did. It set up perfect right there the last couple of days. Friday, it was perfect right there. Or Thursday, it was perfect. Friday went booming. So A-U-M-N, we were looking at it, and bam, that one was a good one. B-C-D-A, um, Biocardia, I know we were looking at this, and it was looking good. This one did good. This one crosses up and down like crazy right there. So, um. Here's the AEMD chart uh, real quick if you just want to take a look because that one looks real good. Laptop Travel just did that one up real fast, and that looks good. Uh, BCDA, like I said, running up, curled through. Um, have a feeling it's just going to run up a little bit more and come back down. So uh, it does it all the time. It's one of them ones you can kind of look at and see almost uh, when it gets in this little pattern of it. So bcda you keep a look at look at it and uh you'll know it's going up and then coming back down very soon but you can look at it um chn when i mean look at it i mean you can just look and see where it goes up and down is what i mean in them channels right there chnr um that one we were going over last week china natural resources and this one ran up too it ran up to 80 almost 83 cents it opened at 72 it's low as 70 it's sitting at almost 77 and uh could have a little pullback but still looks pretty good for this week so we'll look at that one uh see how it looks for this week but it does look like it wants to continue up ciso let's see Oh, this one looks like it wants to just run up into that top area and just get crazy. So, I mean, it was, I know we looked at this not long ago and it's been running up as well. And uh, you'd have to look at this, see if it has that momentum in the morning. If this thing has momentum, this thing's going to pop and it'll be up in the top. That's why you don't want to be chasing it. But CISO could definitely run up in that top area and uh, really get cruising there. So, 
There you go with C I S O. And uh, let's see anything else. Whoop, whoop, don't do that. I almost hit the uh, cancel button right there. And uh, here we go. Let's just look and see what KXIN. Let's look at that, Eric. KXIN. I thought I saw one come through. I was just trying to find it. KXIN. Let me just see. Down a penny. Now, this one doesn't look too, too bad right there. It was pulling back. Obviously, Friday, it ran up to uh, 12.1234, so a little over 12 cents, and it opened at a uh, little over 10, uh, a little under 11, we'll say. But um, it's low as 8 cents, and uh, doesn't look bad. I could see it pulling back a little bit, and it did on Friday. I mean, it ran up a pullback. It's it's one of them ones that, you know, gives you one of them weird looks because it ran up and then it ran up higher on Friday, but wants to come down, but it's over to 50. It hit the top and pulled back. It could run up. It could come down. Hard to tell after a weekend. I'm not going to lie. Let me pull it up on the other charts just to get a better idea, but let's just see. KXIN, come on. Pulling back there. I'd have to say it wants to pull back on that one, KXIN, and it's way up there on that one. I mean, could it pull back and continue its way up? It could. It could get back up in the 14 cent area. Yeah, it's a, it's really kind of tough. I'm not going to lie. I'll remind me in the morning, Eric, and we can look at it at 7 a.m. I don't know if it's really going to pop like because it's already popped up so you might just get a little more uh squeeze some more out of it if, if, if it can get up to that top area again and get into the top but um just be careful with it if you're already in it um definitely be careful and you don't want to really be chasing it up there so that's kxin um is it a possible runner i to me it's already run um so i I don't think it's, I mean, like I said, could it bounce up a little bit? Yeah, but I, I think we would already been done with this one. Might have been done with it on Thursday um, if we were still liking it because it looked like it had momentum. Definitely Friday you're out. I mean, when it hits that point, uh, you know, when it hits that high right there, you, you know you're pretty much out right there. So um, especially with that kind of look. So I think it kind of pulls back there um kxin and again we can look at it but just breaking it down what i'm looking at right there for you and that is what i see so we'll keep an eye on it for sure cmbm let's look at that one cmbm that was up six cents it's actually looking really good as it crawls off of there i can see this one going up uh tomorrow morning some more and running more uh running more tomorrow as well cmbm yeah, it looks pretty solid right there. Rolling off that MACD, it should continue that momentum. Doesn't look like it doesn't want to, that's for sure. CYTH, let's look at it. Up two cents. And, uh, oh, that one's an interesting look as well, huh? That's a really interesting look. CYTH, I think we went over this last week as well. And now I have a really interesting look. Let me see. CYTH. Oh, that one looks like it wants to continue its momentum. Um, and again, this one crossed through, and it's not even really running, to be honest with you, but it's just sitting right on that 20 in the right spot, and everything looks pretty good. Um, CYTH is an interesting one to keep an eye on because it's right there, and uh, it could blast off. So CYTH, guys, check it out in the morning. It's, it's sitting right there on your 20. I mean, it looks pretty damn good. Um, DDC, I remember looking at this one down here. It was in like the 20 cent range. I remember that. And now it's in the uh, 32 cent range and it's looking even better. So yeah, DDC, that was on our list like two or three weeks ago. I actually, I do definitely remember that bad boy and it's looking good to continue its way up now. So DDC is looking decent. DPRO is another one we were looking at before that dragonfly, that Canadian aerospace and defense. And that, remember, we were looking at it last week. We started looking at the other ones and uh, this one looks really good. Um, Should continue going up this week. And it should get up to that 316, at least over three. It's at 252. So DPRO looking nice. 
I would say FRTX. Oh, is that what I even have? Yeah, FRTX. Oh, I'm not sure. Let me see. FRT. Why? Oh, there is an FRTX and a Y. Is it Fresh Tracks Therapeutics? It's an OTC if it is. Um, let's see if F T is F R T Y over here. That's over. That's an ETF. So I doubt we were looking at that one, and that one's not looking great. It might be F R T X, and it's a uh, Fresh Tracks Therapeutics, and it is an OTC or. Let's see, I like 2,000 in volume. This one's a weird one. <laughs> this one looks like it wants to roll off the MACD. Definitely a crazy, what's that, 73 cents right there? And uh, it, it came down the other day. I, I, I mean, this chart's weird looking. I don't even know what the heck's going on. But uh, FRTX does kind of look like it wants to roll off that MACD. I'll give it that, but uh, I'm not so sure I really want to say yes or no but that's because the chart looks all weird hold on let me look frtx i can pull it up on here um yeah, i mean it does does look like it wants to roll up on mine too and it also looks weird on my chart too so i'm not sure but it does look like it wants to roll off the macd i can give you that hofv hall of fame resort and entertainment company that one's looking sweet are all the uh gambling ones i wonder we should look at them again because i they seem like uh they're starting to do pretty good so hofv looking pretty decent right there i mean the 20 is about to hit it so and it's curling up on all angles at least trying to hofv um jay-z so we had hove and now we have jay-z look at that um and that's a china education training services and this one we were looking at the other day i believe it ran up Thursday, Friday, and I would have to look at it because it does have that weird look and it ran up there. So could it be just some pulling, like running up, pulling back and making more room on the chart? It could, but also it could be coming down. So I'd have to look at that before I'd mess with it. N-A-A-S. Oh, here we go. N-A-A-S. Let's look at it because it's looking pretty nice. It was trading right between the 20 and 50 right there and looking good. So I would definitely keep an eye on this, see if it wants to try to move right there. N-A-A-S. Let's look at it real quick again. Let me uh, bring it up on these other charts real fast. It looks like it wants to go up. It's in that channel right there. And that's what I was wondering. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it wants to try to go up. Let's take a look. It's in that channel right there, and it looks like it wants to bounce on, like bounce up there. So that's one to keep an eye on. See what it wants to do. OLB. Let's see. Down six cents, up a penny right there. This one's interesting too, and I think this one kind of is top in there, but going to set up, just kind of base out and set up a little bit to run. But definitely an interesting look as it hits that top and rolls back down. So, uh, yeah, we have to look at OLB again because that's an interesting look. PHIO, let's just take a peek at that guy. Down 7 cents. Now, this one looks really good trying to roll off that MACD. Won't be surprised if this one's trying to move up to uh, – that four hour range tomorrow from 355 in the after hours, PHIO. So I would keep an eye on that one right there. PHIO looking good. PMD. Let's see. PMD. That was kind of flat and uh, it's a shell company or something. It's got a weird ass look. I don't know about this one. Let me look on mine. I don't know if I can. Uh, yeah, it has this weird look like something's going on and it's going to pull back. I'm not so sure about that. I have no idea what's going on. It ran up and now it's really flat up here for a while. And uh, I don't know. Them things that do that are just kind of strange. Sometimes they look like they merged or something. I'm not sure um, what the heck's going on. They did uh, release the first ever Education Insights report on covering drug trends in educational institutions through hair testing. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. They launched their new ketamine, ketamine hair testing service, um, Psychmedics. 
So clearly they're a drug testing company, I would say. But uh, yeah, it's just a weird look. I'll look at it tomorrow because it's right under the 20s right there. It looks like it wants to go up. It just has all these weird ones in the base. And I'm not exactly sure what the heck's going on there. So let me just check that one out in the morning because it's definitely an interesting one. I like it, actually. And uh, just not exactly sure um, what to even think of it. So I'll take a look at that a little bit better. P and BK Patriot National Bank Corp. Oh, that was up 17 cents, up a little bit more. That one looks like it's popping back up some more, huh? And setting up bowler. So PNBK, that's a regional bank and looks pretty good right there. Um, trying to break through that 205 area, got up to 193. It looks like it's going to try to break it tomorrow. So keep an eye on PNBK, see if it can. RBSN, let's see that rail vision. That one actually ran up the other day, like seven cents, and uh, ran up what Thursday and Friday. Got up to the fifty with like really great momentum. Uh, can look at this in the morning, see if it's a momentum play. I have a feeling it could be coming back down, but it could run up tomorrow, um, early. And uh, and then kind of get shorted back down, but it had some good, good momentum. So looks like the train could still run and ride on track right there. So that's RVSN, SOGP, Sound Group, up 33 cents. Oh, this one, oh, this is definitely a momentum. This could be on Jolie's jumpers probably in the morning, SOGP. Um, just look at this to be running up in the morning. It's gotten into the top. And it wants to keep the momentum up there. So SOGP, I would mark down if you're going to be trading early. Definitely want to run by that one and check and see if what it's doing. T-A-N-H, that's a tan, ton, whatever. And it's looking really good for this week. I can tell you that right now. So that's one to keep an eye on, T-A-N-H. We like that for this week. It's looking good. I, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, TVIO. Wow, that went down 76 cents. And uh let's see. Yeah, this one's a little a little strange right there. It could bounce up. I'd have to look with that kind of dip and look. I'd have to see that on a Monday morning just to see what it looks like. And that's TBIO. TNFA. We uh I don't know if we did, I don't remember, but we'll do it again. TNF uh pharmaceuticals. It's right between the uh, 50 and the 20 right there, and it's been between there. Hmm. This looks like it could uh, pull back. Let me look at TNFA real fast again. Pulling back there, but it's right in between that channel. Hmm. Cross through, pulling back. This is an interesting one. I don't even know. I feel like we looked at it already tonight. And uh, I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember. But um, it's definitely an interesting one. Hitting the 50. It looks like it wants to pull back some. So I would have to say I'd wait to watch to see if this pull back. And, and another one on a Monday. I'd have to look at that on a Monday morning being a Sunday night. So that is TNFA. And, uh, yeah, just an interesting look right there. The way it hit the 50. And looks like it wants to pull back to me. Let's see, T.O.P., that's Top Financial Group, a Hong Kong company, Capital Markets. And let's just see what they're up to. A little flat right there on the 20. You should crawl through it, uh, crawl around it. I mean, it's already crossed over the MACD. This one should continue its way up into the $2 range. So T.O.P. should try to get up back up to $2 right there, I would assume, and I mean, you got to look at these in the morning, though, see what make sure that they're just trying to move in the right direction. Um, we don't even know how the market's going to open. So, uh, again, that's what I'm looking at at the moment from the Friday close into, uh, you know, Sunday night into Monday. But a lot can change and so can the charts. But just telling you what I see at the moment. YGMZ. Let's see. Yeah. I know that's a China company. I recognize that one. And that one looks really good for tomorrow. It's running up on the last few days a little bit. But that one looks really good. I would keep an eye on that bad boy. YGMZ. Uh, Ming Zhu Logistics Holdings. And uh, Ming Zhu is looking like he's about to pop off tomorrow. So 
check out good old Ming Zhu at YGMZ. And uh, there you go. Let's take a look and see what I missed or if anyone wants to look at anything. Um, no problem, Eric. You got it. It was giving you a dilemma, so you got it. No problem. And you know we can check in the morning at KXIN. Like I said, it looks like it wants to pull back after them two run-ups, so we'll take a look at it for you. That's never a problem at all. And now let's look at crypto. It was looking good this weekend, holding itself up there. So, it, but it did. Oh, what happened since I got on? It was still up over sixty-five right when I uh, got on here, and now it's at sixty-four thousand six hundred. So I guess in the the last what hour and twenty minutes, it took a little nosedive, a little dipper. Um, let's see what happened here. It sure did. Got up to at that 66 the other day and it's pulling back down onto the line, but is it going to cross through? I don't think they are. Ethereum's at 2,615. And again, you got your Sunday night pullback. And, uh, I just think it's just a little Sunday night pullback. Soul was just in the 160s. It's at 157. And, uh, yeah, I don't think uh, you're going to see them crossing back down, to be honest. Cardano's at 39 and uh, still over to, I mean, they're over to 100s and the 50s and crawling up nice. Doge is in 12 cent land. And, uh, yeah, just kind of like a little healthy pullback. I mean, they can't, I mean, it was up in the 70. It needed to run back a little bit to make some room. I don't think we're seeing anything too crazy here. I think that they're just, they kind of need to pull back and make some room, to be honest. So that's what I think we're seeing. Just a little healthy bonk, same thing. And uh, bonk's still looking solid right there. So that's our little crypto report. And uh, we'll get way more into crypto coming up this week and start really now. And let's go through the big capper, see what they're up to, what they're going to look like tomorrow, how they might open up. And then we'll wrap it up for our Sunday night. And let's see what's happened. I hope everyone had a great weekend and hanging out. Appreciate it. Laptop travel, Little Iron, Man, RD, Licho something, Ovi grows, Elena, Scope Rate, uh, Joseph Levy, Patrick, uh, Godbout, and uh, somebody else I think was just there. I don't even know. But anyway, let's just roll through these big cappers, see what's happening here. And we'll call it an evening here. Let's see what the spy did on Friday. It was down 83 cents. And I'm telling you, this damn thing setting up so bullish, it's ridiculous. And uh, so, yeah, can it pull back? It can. It can pull back into the 560s if it wants to, 564. But it's building a nice base up there and getting super bullish. So, uh, again, got to see what Monday morning opens up like. We won't know until 7 a.m. really when I hit that thing and it, uh and the um heat map kind of changes and it could still be a little gray because Monday mornings they generally are, but we will be checking it out. You know that GameStop, let's see, it was up 19 cents on Friday, and I'm telling you that thing's about to get running. AMC's been setting up, it's down at the 450 area. And uh, just wait for it. Remember, we were said we were just waiting for it to get set up. I think it could have bottomed out there at the twenty on the twenty fifth at that four thirty six. But again, we're gonna keep our eye on. It's not saying that it's ready to come up just yet. So, but it will be super bullish. I can promise you that. And uh, it'll it'll get moving there. C H W Y. Um, let's see. Chewy is looking a little better there. It's just holding itself up. It did cross through. I have a feeling Chewy's going to try to make one of them hard curl ups through the MACD and get cruising again. And that's just what it looks like at the moment. NVIDIA, NVDA, down 264. And like I was saying, these big cappers kind of need to pull back. And I don't think they're really going to pull back much. Um, more or less, they're going to make some room on the chart so that they can really pop. Because I'm telling you, they are set up to do it. Um, Apple, AAPL. That was up 27. Now, Apple's in a good spot where it could continue its way up tomorrow. So Apple's not looking bad to run up some more. So we'll look at Apple in the morning and see if it wants to keep going. 
Uh, Google is up a dollar forty six, and Google just looks like it wants to continue to stay going. So I was saying it was just kind of making a base, and it's bullish. Well, that's what it looks like. It was making a base, and now it's trying to crawl back up. Amazon um, is pulling back right there. I don't think it's going to cross through. It's coming down to the line tomorrow. The twenty is uh, right there at like one eighty four. It's at one eighty seven. And uh, we've watched it come down pretty hard multiple times and just come right off of it. So I have a feeling you might see it happen again as it's cruising up there. Again, it didn't want to get into the top yet because uh, it would definitely screw it up. Meta, um, down 48 cents. Wasn't that up? Uh, no, it opened up high and then it uh, came back down. It was up the day before on Thursday. That's right. Meta's at the top. I feel like Meta needs to pull back a little, and and it actually needs to pull back into like the five thirties kind of, or even the five fifties would be good for it. It's all the way at the top. I I would like to see it come back out of the top. So I'm not so sure what Meta is going to do tomorrow. We'll have to pay attention to it because it could run up in that top for a little bit and then pull back. But I don't know if it really wants to do exactly that. I feel like it does want to pull back and get out of that top now. That way it can really run next time. So uh, we'll see what Meta wants to do, if it's going to pop, if it's going to come out of the top or not. Um, Microsoft pulling back just a little bit, coming back down to the line. The 20s at 424, it's at 428. Let me see. Let me see what it did in the after hours. Microsoft, MSFT. Um, yeah, coming down that line really hard. Um, so we'll just have to pay attention to it. And even if it crosses through, I don't think any, I mean, the, the, it has great support down there at 411. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world. And again, these things needed to kind of make room, but I don't know if it's definitely curling through. We'll watch it tomorrow. Microsoft's one we'll keep an eye on. Tesla, let's look at it. Remember who said it was going to hit that 260 area? Well, what did it? It went up to like 261. And uh, Thursday is at 260. And honestly, it looks like it wants to get into that top area right now. So, uh, wow, that's an interesting one. I mean, it does. It looks like it wants to run up some more. And, uh, shoo, man, let me look at Tesla in the after hours real quick. Oh, let me get the right stock ticker, Tesla. TSLA, of course. And uh yeah, I mean it really looks like it wants to run up over that 260 and get moving. We're gonna have to watch that one tomorrow. It really does look like it. Um, let's see. That is Tesla. Let's look at Nike and see. It's at 89.44 and it's still looking pretty good. It's in the top though. Nothing you want to be chasing. And uh we obviously saw it way down in the 73s. And uh, but yeah, that's getting that's way in that's in the top and could it run a little more? Yeah, but it needs to pull back there. Rivian was one that was trying to get set up, up 43 cents. And uh, we'll see this one, I think, start to curl up finally. And uh, this could have been its bottom on Thursday at that 1095. So I think we're finally going to see that try to move in the 20s up at 1270. But uh, that's not nothing. That's nothing crazy for this. So we'll keep an eye just to see if it's ready to get moving could just be like you know it tries to cruise up and bounces back down and waits for that 20 to come grab it and it'll take another week or so so we can watch rivian we we do it every day anyway so we will watch rivian pltr down 26 and again this one's coming out i think this one has to cross through and come down to be honest and uh and, and actually make some room and pull back so i think pltr needs to pull back could it bounce up it could i mean it, it's been doing crazy things and running up there for a while. It is super bullish. I just think it needs to pull back, make some more room on the chart so it can run like crazy again. Sophie, that's at 795 and uh, trying to crawl back up there, huh? It ran up to almost what that eight, what was it right there? I forget. Uh, 853. And uh, it looks like it wants to make that hard curl back up. And you know, if it does, it's going to pop off there. So Sophie, 
Watch that one in the morning, guys, if you want to see if it tries to curl through again. Oxy's up a dollar twelve. And this one, I think we're gonna get that roll off now and uh start cruising. So it looks pretty bullish up there too. And the 20's coming down to grab it. And that was pulling back, and it could have been its bottom on Thursday, right there at uh 49.75. It's at 5103 and 5108 in the after hours. And again, Oxy's looking much better right there. Let's take a look at snow. Uh, that was up a dollar forty-three and looking pretty good, honestly. Oh yeah, I remember I I asterisked this one the other day. And uh yeah, I have a feeling snow. It is bearish, but it's gonna pop off. So uh you catch the run on snow, catch some snowflakes with that one because it's gonna run up, but like I said, it is a bearish look. But it's gonna have a little run right there. Dell's been running up. It was down six six dollars. Um, it did hit the top and pull back. I'd let it pull back over to here, uh, into like the 114, 115 area, and then we'll look at it because it's really bullish again. So we can take a look at Dell AMD down a little bit and again hit the top. I think it just needs to pull back a little bit, set these bad boys up to really get blasting off. And that's AMD. And let's look at NIO. That one's been running. That Chinese auto manufacturer, I told you, this thing keeps running up. And uh, it won't cross down through. I was saying it was rolling off. It got up to, what, 666 the other day on Friday. Its low is 599 It opened at $6. And um, we looked at this thing in, like, the $3 range. So this thing just keeps on running up and... I mean, it's about to get back in the top, possibly run even higher up into the seven. So watch this one tomorrow for a momentum play as well. And that is NIO. And let's look at Space Virgin Galactic up 19 cents and uh, looking pretty good. Oh, that one's going to make that hard curl up too. Space is setting up right now. So that's looking good. Take a look at that one. SPCE looking good. Um, Intel. Let's look at INTC. Intel down a penny, down three cents in the after hours, but setting up real good. 20s coming up to meet the 50. Let it come down into the 22s and uh, set up again. I think uh, Intel just gets set up again to run. So, and again, isn't Qualcomm going to try to take it? Here you go. Today, uh, Qual Qualcomm uh, explores Intel chip design acquisition to boost AI portfolio. So, I mean, take a look at it because if they're going to get bought up, that would be pretty wild, um, Intel. So, like I said, it's looking like it wants to set back up, dip a little bit and set back up there, INTC. Disney, uh, $96, and uh, we saw this one back in 85s, and it is going to run up higher into the top and keep on moving there. So I think Disney is looking decent uh, to run up higher, but obviously we liked it when it was in the 85s. Um, that is Disney, D-I-S, S-M-C-I. I believe they're having a reverse split, aren't they? Oh, yeah, didn't we talk about this thing was reverse splitting? Um, just, yeah, I don't remember where it is. I was trying to find it, but I don't see it. Um, but I did, I remember we were talking about it and I'm telling you, this thing wants to roll off and I would just wait for that reverse split and it'll get cruising. We already know that, but it's looking pretty decent right now. So I think SMCI it wants to start moving again and it's low the other day it was in the three seventy threes and, uh, yeah, I think I think we're gonna see it start moving once again. So SMCI, it is, uh, and it does. It wants to run up the fifties all the way up to like five forty six. We're at four twenty right now. So in the after hours, um, definitely has some room to move. That's for sure. SMCI. So we're watching that one. You know that Mara. That was down 23 cents and just kind of like an easy pullback right there. Nothing crazy. Um, so M-A-R-A -A, looking decent still. Riot was up 7 cents and about to hit the 50. And again, just slowly going up. So uh, actually kind of has like a bearish look. Let me see. What does Mara look like? Mara looks a little bit better to be honest, and Riot. So we'll have to keep an eye on that real quick. I bet the charts kind of reset up a little bit. 
Um, DJT, let's look at that. It was up a little bit. Uh, it was up to what, 14, it was up to 1536. It closed at 1475 and, uh, it's curling up real nice and your twenties coming down for it and it's setting up bullish. So DJT not looking bad right there The Trump media funware was up 18 cents. And, uh, I'm telling you, this thing's about to get fun. It wants to blast off right there. Exxon Mobil, XOM up 302. And uh, it's at 115.88 in the after hours, and that one's rolling off. So uh, Exxon Mobil and Oxy both were looking good right there. The oil and gas right there. And Coin, Coinbase was up 11.30 and cruising up, hitting some resistance, but have to see what it wants to do, how it opens up. But Coin not looking bad. And BlackRock, BLK up 19 cents. And uh, still in the top there, and thing just consistently just keeps running higher. So it's a crazy, crazy stock. It's all the way at the top. Should pull back some, but we'll continue to run up. And that is BLK, your Black Rock. And there you go. That is a healthy uh, Sunday night report. Um, did I get any miss anything? I don't think so. Uh, MWG. Joseph, I actually covered it the very first one. As a matter of fact, I came right on and covered MWG first, multi-way holdings, and we'll cover it last. How's that? And what I said with it, as I remember now, uh, is it's a crazy look because it ran up and it's coming back down. It ran up Thursday, coming back down for uh, Friday. And uh, could it bounce off of here, uh, off of that 40 cent area? It definitely could. Could it come down to the 37s? It could. I'd have to look at this in the morning. So you have to remind me in the morning. I'll take a look at it for sure. MWG, it's actually written at the top of the page um, to look at. So uh, because it's just one of them ones that on a Sunday night and it's coming down to that MACD line. And with that kind of look, it just it is a really tough look. I could, I could flip a coin and probably get that more accurate than this right now. And again, it's just one of them looks where it's like, if it wasn't a Sunday night, I'd say it's probably going to bounce off of there. But being that it was a Sunday, a weekend, and we have no idea how the market's going to open, we'll take a look at it, see what direction it wants to move, and we'll get a much better idea of MWG. And like I've explained before, it happens often on uh, Sunday nights. You go through the weekend, you can't really get an exact look at all of them, but you have an idea of what we're looking at and what we want to attack and really, you know, keep on our watch list and what's setting up for the week. So there you go. And uh, I hope everybody had a great weekend.